Don't trust them. Not a single one. Any app, any service, any cool tool that you've downloaded, if it's closed source, just assume it's sketchy. I don't care if it's the number one app on the store with 4.9 stars and a million fake reviews. If the code is hidden, it's doing something weird behind the scenes. Like, you're telling me this free flashlight app needs access to my contacts, camera, and location? For what? To light up my soul? So yeah, closed source means you can't see the code. You don't know what the app is really doing. It's like being blindfolded and signing a contract that says, don't worry about it, trust me, bro. Meanwhile, open source apps are like, Yo, here's everything. Take a look. Fix it if it's broken. Steal it if you can improve it. Total transparency. Now I know some people are like, come on, man. These companies wouldn't ruin their own reputation. My dude, they already have. Multiple times. Ever heard of Google, Apple, Microsoft, Adobe? Yeah, they all got caught doing shady stuff. They're literally out here vacuuming up your data. And it doesn't even matter if you pay them. You can buy a $2,000 device from them and they'll still track what time you go to sleep and how many times you sneeze. And the worst part? These companies don't even try to hide it anymore. Apple's out here scanning your iCloud files. Adobe's like, we might look at your work files just in case. Bro, what? Just in case what? I'm editing cat memes, not planning a secret mission. That's the thing with closed source apps. If the company decides to change something, like remove a feature you love, you're stuck. There's nothing you can do. They own it. They control it. You're just along for the ride. And that's if you're lucky. Worst case, they add some spyware and sell your data to a dude named Jeff from New Jersey running a targeted ad company out of his mom's basement. But open source? Totally different vibe. It's made by people, not corporations. Anyone can see the code. Anyone can fix bugs. And if the original dev decides to be annoying and remove a cool feature, someone else can just fork the project and keep it going. It's like a group project where the teacher actually lets everyone do their own version, and nobody gets a C just because Chad didn't finish his part. And yeah, I know some open source apps look kind of old school, but bro, have you seen Blender? That thing is a beast. It's open source, and people use it to make entire movies, even Netflix stuff. Like you can make explosions and dragons and weird anime cats, all for free, without someone spying on your GPU. Me personally? I switched from Adobe stuff to DaVinci Resolve. Now, full honesty, DaVinci is an open source. I know, I know, sounds like I'm contradicting myself. But listen, Blackmagic Design, the company behind it, is actually chill. You don't need an account. You don't need to give them your life story. You don't even need the internet. You download it, open it, and boom, it works. That's already 100 times better than Adobe making me log in just to open Photoshop and then asking me if I want to upload my brain to their cloud. And speaking of Photoshop, let's talk GIMP. Yes, the name is tragic, sounds like an insult, but don't sleep on it. It's free, it's open source, and you can do like 80% of what Photoshop does. I use it to make thumbnails for my videos. I'm not some graphic design wizard or anything, but the results are solid, and I didn't have to sell a kidney for it. Now I know some of you are thinking, cool, I can replace Photoshop, I can replace Premiere, but I can't replace Windows. Yeah, that's a bigger move. Switching to Linux is like moving to another planet. Some apps won't work. Some stuff breaks. You'll be on YouTube like, how do I fix mouse not clicking in Ubuntu 2025? But if you're into tech or just tired of all the nonsense, it's worth checking out. Just know it's not plug and play. It's plug and pray. Look, I'm not saying go full hacker mode and delete all your apps tonight. I'm just saying start thinking about what you use, who made it, and what they might be doing with your data. You don't have to be paranoid, just be aware. And if you can replace a shady app with a better open one, do it, slowly, one by one. That's how you win. And honestly, once you start using apps that respect you and don't feel like they're watching you shower, it's hard to go back. Open source software is like that one chill friend who never asks for anything and just wants you to succeed. Closed source is the friend who borrows your charger, eats your snacks, and then sells your secrets to Instagram ads. So, yeah, you choose. But if you're like, bro, I don't even know where to start. Don't worry. You're not alone. Nobody wakes up one day like, today, I will switch to 100% open source and become a digital monk. Nah, you start small. Swap out that one app that annoys you. Try a new browser that doesn't track you like your ex. 
Replace that sketchy video editor with something that doesn't ask for your email every five minutes. Even just using stuff like Firefox or Brave or ditching Google Docs for LibreOffice. Little steps. You're not joining a cult. You're just taking back control. One less creepy notification at a time. And look, you're probably not that interesting to some giant corporation. Like, nobody's at Google HQ watching your 3 a.m. search for how to peel garlic without feeling like a failure. But still, it's not about hiding. It's about not being used, not being the product, not letting someone else profit off your daily habits and embarrassing typos. And the craziest part, a lot of open source stuff is actually fun. You feel like part of a secret club, except instead of hazing and weird chants, it's just nerds helping each other and saying, hey, I fixed that bug you mentioned on Reddit. It's low-key wholesome. Anyway, I'm not here to guilt trip you into wiping your hard drive and running Arch Linux on a toaster. But if this made you think even a little about what apps you're using and why, then cool. That's the whole point. So yeah, keep your data safe, your apps honest, and your thumbnails crispy. Peace out. And if this video helped you, drop a like, maybe sub, maybe comment what app you're deleting first. Or just say hi. Later.